What is up everybody? Super excited about today. We got some awesome things going on. For one, I'm kind of on a little vacation right now. So I got five days off. I'm just getting into vlogging, YouTube, starting this channel, Colton's Real Life. I'm just ready to, to share some experiences with you guys, have some fun. So what we got going on today is a pond that I have fished at before, a local pond, that I know there's some really nice fish in there, but they, it can be a little tricky to catch. So it might be a little bit of a challenge. Sometimes you come up, up, up empty handed there, but uh, it's looking like there's a good chance of catching a giant. So I'm all into that. As you can see, we have a whole lot of variation in the type of ground we have here in Ohio. Nice and flat, pretty much wherever you look. Plenty of cornfields. And here's a good example, many, many cows. All right, guys, we made it. We did it. It's actually a little bit more algae than I even expected. It, last time I went here, it wasn't even this bad. So maybe some things are happening, man. Maybe some things are coming to life. We'll have to see. Of course, I was just so excited to film today that I forgot to put the mic on my GoPro for my first video. So hopefully uh, with the little bit of wind that there is that you can even hear, we'll find out, but starting out slinging around that chatterbait, seeing if I can get a bite to start out the day here. Ooh, I just saw a couple bass. I don't know if you can see that, but there's one chilling right there. And if I'm quiet enough, I might be able to flip my fluke in there. Maybe get them to bite. That would be amazing. I can see them right there. It's actually a pretty decent fish. He swam away. Maybe he'll come back. Gonna let this sink a little bit, see what happens. Got super scared right there. As soon as I jerked the little fluke, it just darted away. I'm calling a small audible here. this big camera died so I'm gonna throw it in my car and then I just might get a little crazy grab a frog and just frog over this super weedy area Oh my gosh, oh my god, oh my, no, it popped off, no, I was dangling it on that tree branch, oh my, that was a big bass too, I can't believe that. So 
So I'm sitting here and I still can't believe that that fish came up and hit that dangling frog. I mean, I'm just wishing I got that thing in. The frog popped out, but hey, that got me going and I am super excited. So why I'm sitting here right now talking to you is because after that action happened at that tree branch, nothing else really happened the rest of the time. I didn't catch a fish there. It was slow, too much weeds. And so I just decided, let's call it a day. It was getting a little later. So today we're gonna be going out to a different pond, hopping around a little bit. As soon as the rain lets up, I mean, it's just been kind of a nasty day. Um, should blow over soon and we'll be out at a different pond. So I'm super, super ready for that. I know we're gonna get on some fish today and uh, stay tuned. Here we are. Pond number two of our little trip. And it is of course, just as windy or more as it was yesterday. The storm finally blew over. So we're here to fish and we're ready to go. It's time to catch a fish today. We are going to catch a fish today. I will not go home empty handed. It really is a beautiful day. Turned out to be wonderful, I can't complain. It was nasty for the longest time and I just, all I wanted to do was, was get out, but, oh, I got a, I got a bite. Here's a fish, fish on, fish on. Feels good. Here he goes. Not a bad one, not a bad one to start off the day. Right in the corner of the mouth. That's a decent fish. I cannot complain, man. There we go. See you later. I just might go ahead and pick up my jerk bait. I got plenty of time, so I have found that. A lot of times I fish the jerk bait. I've been fishing it more erratic, more fast than I thought I'd have to. And I really catch fish that way. And I think, you know, am I fishing it too fast? But every time I go fishing it faster, it pays off. I always catch fish. So I'm hoping today is the same thing. It's just a blast when you are working this jerk bait and one comes up and nails it. You can really feel the bite. Ooh, oh my God. That was a huge hit. Huge hit, man. He crushed crushed it not a big bass but he absolutely crushed that wow <laughs> i'm telling you man when you're really working that jerk bait you kind of get in the zone and when they hit it it about takes the rod right out of your hands man that was one of the funnest bass i've caught in a long time thank you It's just amazing to me how fast bass can come up and eat something. I mean, I'm just quick, sharp snaps of the rod tip here, working this jerk bait extremely fast. And they're, ooh, oh yes. That just, that pumps me up. He nailed, nailed it. Ooh, the belly on this thing is huge. The gut, man. Wow. He destroyed it. 
That is a beautiful bass. So this side's a little interesting. And I want to throw my jerk bait over here. See if I can pick up a couple more of those fish. So I figure, why not whip this out here? See if we can catch a fish over here. Oh, one nailed it right there. Oh, yes. Yes. Not a bad fish. They all have little bellies on them, that's for sure. Ooh, he crushed it. Crushed it harder than any one I've had today. Absolutely crushed it. Ooh, he's taking, he is really fighting. Wow. Get in here. Not a bad fish. Not a giant, but just a healthy, healthy bass. Can't complain. Nice fish. guys I can't ask for anything better for today just what a day so many fish I can't even count how many I caught one after the other on that jerk bait and that just makes me so pumped because I wanted to go out there I wanted to catch a, some jerk bait fish in warm water working it fast just giving those fish a chance to just crush it and man they crushed it so I am super, super pumped about that. Now this weekend is going to be pretty sweet. I am going up to Michigan tomorrow and I am going to be getting into some river smallmouth over the weekend. Now weather permitting, that if the river level's good, we're going to go after it. We're going to wade for some river smallies and it's going to be awesome. They are just one of my favorite fish to catch. So aggressive, such big fighters and I am ready to go, man. So this weekend's gonna be full of exciting things. I'm gonna have to go pick up some sunglasses. I actually shut mine in my trunk. So I, uh, I broke them. I'm gonna have to go get some new Oakleys. So I'm gonna I head to, to an Oakley store up there, get some glasses. So to say the least, this weekend is gonna be full of fun, full of fish. It's just gonna be an adventure, so Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos, guys, because they're going to be coming. And um, I'll see you guys later. Is that a jerk bait? It is, man. I, I used to have one that worked really good here, but the bill broke. Oh no, do you have any more? Yeah, but the one I, see I have one more and it's a, a shad, like a 3D. Dude, you want, you want one? Yeah. All right, we'll go with this one. This one's a pretty decent one. I've actually never used it, but you can All have right. it, man. Thanks, bud. Hey, not a problem, dude. Did you catch it on that jerk bait? Yeah. Dude, nice, not a bad fish. Yeah, dude.